This video was produced by the Top Cut. Be sure to check out thetopcut.net, your home for Pokemon TCG tournament coverage, professional game analysis, and interviews with the best players in the world. Thanks for watching. All right, welcome back to Game Three of the Wisconsin Regional Championship Top 16 match. Uh, Tyson was able to win Game One in a fairly convincing fashion, and Vince was able to win Game Two thanks to well, the Pokemon that is in his active spot right now, Virizion, just pummeling Tyson until he ran out of Pokemon. Uh, now Tyson will get to go first here, which is a major advantage. Um, he lost the second game, so he gets to choose who goes first in the third game. So of course. He will go first since it's a complete advantage to be going first. And he starts with a collector, which is the best possible start for him. Now, uh, some people have started to uh, move away from using collector in favor of dual ball. But collector is still a very good card when you can open with it. And we're going to see the strength of it here as Tyson manages to get two Tynamos out on the first turn. He also starts... With his preferred starter, which is Thunderous, and that means he'll be able to use Charge on this first turn, which is a pretty big deal. He'll be able to threaten a turn to Disaster Volt and start getting Lightning Energy into play so that he can fuel Electric's Dynamotor and start powering up his Pokemon. So he's just going to go ahead and use Charge. Now the interesting thing about Virizion is it's an alternate attacker compared to uh, Tornadus. Now, Tornadus, very good attacker. The problem is, it's weak to lightning. So a Pokemon like Thunderous here will knock it out in one hit with Disaster Volt. But, Virizion is weak to fire, which is a pretty, I mean, uncommon uh, weakness at this point. Certainly no fire Pokemon in um, <laughs> Tyson's deck, and he's just showing Vince that he did have a switch in case Vince didn't end. But, Vince will catch her out um, this Zekrom just to buy time and then play an N. Now Virizion, the only thing that's going to knock him out in one hit is Zekrom, and early on in the game, Zekrom is pretty tough to power up. Until you get some electrics out, um, Thunderous will be your your opening attacker. And then you kind of follow up with Zekrom. So, in the beginning of the game, Virizion actually does a pretty good job, as silly as you might think it is. Uh, even though it only has 100 hit points, and it doesn't do as much damage as these other Pokemon. 100 damage is still pretty good. And Vince is just going to play a couple dual balls here. And he got quite a few heads. So I believe that was 3 out of 4. I guess we'll see how many he grabs. Yep, 3 out of 4 heads. So in game 1 he flipped like 0 for 8. <laughs> and here is Lux turning around a little bit. So it all evens out in the end. Uh, he will grab a Celebi, Tornadus, and a Smeargle. We'll see if he has a switch in his hand. Um, otherwise, he's just going to have to pass this first turn without really doing much. Oh, he's actually going to retreat. And then Portrait to see what Tyson has. Let's see, we got a Sage and an N. And he, yeah, he might as well just go for N and refresh his hand. So this is turning out to be a pretty good deal for Vince. Really explosive first turn, even though he started with Virizion. Um, it's going to take a lot for him to get an attack off here on the first turn. I don't think he will, but either way, this is a pretty good start for him, considering he opened with Virizion. And next turn, he might be able to get a knockout. I'm sure he was hoping to get something going like uh, Catcher on a Tynamo and then Giga Drain with Virizion for a knockout, but it doesn't look like that'll be the case here. Unless he draws two switches and another Grass Energy, which seems pretty unlikely. Um, so, I think this turn we'll just see Vince pass, and that'll be that. Now, what will Tyson do? This is going to be a big deal. Does he have the cards to pull anything wacky off? He has that Zekrom stuck in the active spot, so he needs a switch to really be able to do anything this turn. He did draw a level ball, so there we go. He's going to be able to search out Electric right away and that'll help him get some energy acceleration out. If you're Vince, you're trying to knock out these Electrics and Tynamos so that your opponent cannot get any energy acceleration and power up uh, the attackers. That's just kind of your general strategy with the CMT deck and oh Tyson does have a switch 
He's actually um, joked that his nickname is Tyson Switch Stefan because he always has a switch. <laughs> and it looks like that is holding true once again here. Uh, and he's going to junk arm away an N and a super rod in order to get another level ball. So he will be able to search for a second electric. And this is a very powerful opening for Tyson. Turn two, he has two electrics in play. Um, he still has a supporter in his hand, which is a Sage's Training. If he can manage to get a Lightning Energy from that, he'll be able to use Disaster Volt this turn with Thunderous, thanks to the free retreat from Vince's Sky Hero Bridge. And he'll be able to take the first prize and have a full setup of two Electrics. So, a very dominant position for Tyson. And actually, um, I apologize, he doesn't have a Sage. He did get End, so he wasn't able... Uh, to keep that sage, but he portraits for a juniper and draws seven, and he gets a lightning anyway. So, perfect, perfect start for Tyson is exactly what he wants to see. Uh, couldn't ask for a whole lot more other than maybe getting a few more lightning into his discard pile, but uh, I don't think he'll complain about this start. And he still gets to use a supporter, so he'll sage as well. Take a look at his top five. This is where sage can be good just to get some lightning in the discard pile. Uh, it's not the most effective supporter in the world for drawing cards, but uh, it will get some lightning into your discard pile most of the time. The drawback, of course, is you'll have to discard some other cards as well, but um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this time he did get one lightning in there. So things are looking up for Tyson and Vince not looking so hot. He going to have to draw a lot of stuff here to compete in this game. He's probably going to have to go after those electrics. Uh, maybe start using Sacred Sword. But if he does that, then Zekrom's going to be ready to go next turn. And it's just going to be some trouble. Now Tyson is contemplating whether or not to catch her out the Celebi. Uh, and he actually decides to do that. I think this is a good move. Just because that takes away Vince's energy acceleration. Um... And it's going to make it a lot tougher for him to get any sort of attack off this turn. So right now, Vince, he's going to revive for his Celebi, actually. Did he draw anything good last turn? What's his hand like? We'll find out. He has a switch for Celebi. He'll be able to force breath. And does he have another energy here? Looks like he plays a junk arm, catches out electric, and he'll go for the Juniper. So this could be a pretty big power move here from Vince. If he has another energy, he can Sacred Sword for 100, take out that electric, and force Tyson to have an energy to use Bolt Strike next turn to knock out that Verizian. So things could go well here for Vince, but uh, if Tyson is able to respond with Zekrom's Bolt Strike, uh, this could still be ugly for Vince, considering all of his energy in play is on that Verizian. So... It's nice that he'll be able to knock out an electric, but at the same time, at what cost? Um, he's going to lose three energy. He doesn't really have anything beyond this Verizian, and how is he going to follow up? So Tyson does lose that electric, but thanks to Sky Arrow Bridge, he has a free retreat Pokemon he can promote, probably Smeargle, and yes, that's what he decides to do. He'll be able to draw a card here. And does he have the energy to use Bolt Strike? It looks like he has a Double Callus and an Ebulite. So this is going to be very gruesome for Vince. This is the one thing that his deck does not do well at dealing with. <laughs> and he actually uh, tosses the Lightning over to Tyson as he took a look at his discard pile. Um, so now Tyson, he will be able to get a Bolt Strike off. And this has to be what he's going to go for. All the energy on Vince's field is on his active Pokemon. There's no reason not to knock it out. Even if Tyson has a catcher, there's no reason to play it this turn. Um, he's got a lot of junk arms and catchers in his hand, so even if he wanted to portrait, I don't think he should. He's actually going to junk arm here. Not sure what he's going to get rid of. He's got a lot of cards that he does not want to get rid of. So this is an interesting choice. I'm not sure what he's going to go for. Looks like Super Rod. Um, now, maybe he just wants to get those 
the Tynamo and the Electric back in his deck so he can use it again later. Uh, it seemed like a pretty costly junk arm though. He got rid of a catcher and had to discard a Thunderous and a junk arm. He got the Thunderous back, but the main thing was discarding a junk arm and a catcher just to get a super rod. Not always the greatest thing. He doesn't have an N in his hand though, so he might end up playing that this turn. Not sure how many cards are in Vince's hand. So this could be a good or a bad decision from Tyson. Uh, does he want a portrait? I don't think he really needs to here. He could just attach to the Zekrom and Bolt Strike and uh, go from there. And he actually decides to end without playing that energy in his hand. So he's taking a bit of a risk here. Not too big of a risk because, well, he'll be drawing five cards. And then if he whiffs on the energy, he could always portrait Vince's hand. But... If he does miss an energy here, that's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, he will miss a knockout this turn since he's already used Dynamotor on the Zekrom. Maybe he should have waited to see what he was going to draw. Because if he misses the energy here, he won't be able to attack at all. So he'll draw his five cards. And ooh, the last one is a Lightning. So <laughs> um, he's going to be alright this turn. And his Thunderous fell off the table. He got so excited, it got knocked off the table. He drew that energy. Uh, and now he'll be able to use Bolt Strike. So, Tyson does attach to the Zekrom. This will be a one prize lead for him after this Bolt Strike. And really, it's more than that. It's complete board control. He has an electric in play still. He has a Zekrom fully powered up. He will eliminate Vince's energy from play, his only attacker. And he uses Portrait... He's forced to discard a Junk Arm and a Juniper in order to draw 7, uh, thanks to Portrait. Not sure if that was good or bad for him. Losing a Junk Arm always hurts, since it's always such an important card. But he does draw another Tynamo, um, and now he'll be able to Bolt Strike and get a knockout here on Vince. And he will take the lead. So Tyson, I have to say, is in firm control of this game. And I don't know if Vince can manage to come back from this. He's down a prize. His opponent's completely set up. There's that Zekrom with an Eevee Light pounding on his door. He has to deal with it sometime soon. Otherwise, uh, Tyson's just going to take a prize every single turn. There's no way around it. His Pokemon cannot survive. And he actually puts an Eevee Light on Smeargle. So, Vince... Um, he has that Juniper, he decides to play Oak's New Theory. Now he needs a Grass Energy here to use Forest Breath and attach to Tornadus. So he can Hurricane this turn. He did catch her out Tynamo just to take a free prize here on the Tynamo. But he does need the Grass Energy, so does he get it? This is going to be a big moment in the game. If he misses, I think Vince is pretty much done for. Um... And it looks like he did miss. That is not good news for Vince. He misses the energy attachment <clears throat> from Forest Breath. He already attached for the turn. That means he's probably not going to be able to get a knockout this turn. And I think Vince knows the situation he's in. Uh, it was really painful to miss the grass energy. Plays a plus power. Catches out electric. And then he's going to portrait and hope for the best. And Tyson does have a Juniper. Two Junipers, actually. So Vince will get a new hand of seven cards. In a perfect world, he'll draw another... He'll draw two switches and a grass energy. But that seems pretty unlikely. And even if he does, it's not even that great. He will knock out an electric, but he's burned through a ton of resources. I don't know if he can sustain uh, this kind of onslaught from Tyson... Uh, but he does draw energy retrieval. That's good. Looks like we have one switch and a force breath. Oh, wow, and two switches. So Vince actually drew pretty well off of that. And he's going to be able to hurricane knock out that electric. But at what cost? He had to burn through two catchers that turn. He played a plus power as well. Uh, and on top of all of that, he had to juniper away a double callless. I'm not sure what else. He had to discard, but a lot of resources lost for Vince that turn. Um, you know, he he really didn't have a choice, but that was just painful for him. 
He's he also had to burn through two switches. So ugh, not looking good for Vince. And if you're Tyson, you gotta be feeling pretty confident, even though your electric got knocked out. Um you still got that fully powered Zekrom. You got that Thunderous. And I don't know what can really go wrong for Tyson. He'll be able to get a knockout every turn. The only way I can really see him losing is if Vince gets a Mewtwo down and Tyson can't respond to it quickly enough. Uh, and that seems sort of unlikely, considering he has Smeargle in play as well. So you can see Tyson's actually starting to get a little bit nervous here. This game's getting kind of close. There's a lot on the line here. Uh, Vince, you can see the kind of contrast in attitudes here. Tyson is in the lead. He's thinking, all right, all right, I got this game. I just need to close it out. Um, he knows what's on the line here. He's nervous a little bit. And Vince just saying, all right, I'm going to do all I can do. But I realize that uh, this is not a good situation for me. And he's just going to do what he can. He realizes he's probably lost at this point. Um, odds are that he's probably not going to win if you just look at it straight up. Compare the board positions, the Pokemon that each player has. And Vince probably not expecting to win at this point. But he's going to play it out. He's going to do everything he can. And he's certainly not going to give up. So now Tyson, he's just going to be careful about every move he makes. He wants to make sure he does not make some little mistake that allows Vince to come back. Because even though he's in the lead, this game is still pretty close. Tyson will take the one prize lead. But now Vince, uh, Forest Breath, and attaches to that Tornadus. So he'll be able to power that up. Does he have a catcher in his hand? It looks like he has a junk arm. Usually when players take aside three cards, they are just going to go for a junk arm. So yes, he will discard two cards for a catcher. He's going to bring up Smeargle and an Oak's New Theory. So uh, bringing up Smeargle is actually pretty nice. It opens the door for a late game N, which would put Tyson at a low hand size. Because um, when you end your opponent down to a low hand size, and then they still have Smeargle in play, they can portrait and they have two shots at getting a supporter and refilling their hand. The first one is drawing theirs. The second one is copying yours if you get one. And now Vince has eliminated that Smeargle from play. So maybe, maybe, uh, Vince could somehow get a win with a late game and, and a Mewtwo. Uh, now Tyson did play down his Mewtwo. I don't know whether or not he should have done that. That seems like a pretty big liability, but keeping in mind all the resources Vince has gotten rid of, that actually might end up being a good thing for Tyson, because uh, if Vince does go for that N plus Mewtwo in the, the end of the game to try to steal a win, that's one less thing Tyson has to draw. Um, he already has the Mewtwo on his bench. So now Tyson will Disaster Volt, take another knockout, and he... He's still in the lead. Uh, I don't know how else to put this. Vince, uh, he's going to need some help here. He's burned through a lot of double colorless. He's burned through a lot of catchers and junk arms and switches. He's burned through pretty much a lot of everything. And all he can really do is pray. I don't even know what attackers he really has left because a couple tornadoes have been knocked out. Verizian has been knocked out as well. So really, I'm thinking the only thing he's got left is Mewtwo. And Mewtwo, that is going to be a little risky. Um, so now Vince is going to do a little bit of Mewtwo math, I think. <laughs> um, and he's looking through his discard pile, seeing which attackers are in there. Looks like, yeah, two Tornadus and a Verizian are in his discard pile already. He's just going to take a look. Does he have what it takes to close this game out? Now, of course, Mewtwo, putting that down would be risky because Tyson only has two prizes left. If he, if Vince were to attack with a Mewtwo here and try to use X-Ball, all Tyson has to do is knock out that Mewtwo and he would win the game. But does Vince have another choice here? All of his attackers are weak to Lightning. They can all be knocked out by Zekrom or Thunderous. And he's going for a Duel Ball. He gets a Heads. Is there anything left besides Mewtwo in his deck even? Is it worth going for Tornadus, even though it'll be knocked out by a Thunderous? If he grabs Tornadus, what does it do? 
It only does 80 damage, and then it's immediately knocked out. So I think Vince has to just take a risk and go for the Mewtwo. And we can see Tyson is getting a little excited here. I think he fully expects to win this game. Um, and I can't blame him. He's in firm control. Looks like he's got everything going here. And Vince actually does go for the Tornadus. Uh, I'm not sure what he's thinking about doing that. Uh, but there's a lot on the line here. Vince wants to take his time, think through his decisions. And really, um, it's going to be tough for him either way. It really just all depends on A, does Vince get an attacker out this turn? And B, if he does, does Tyson have the cards to respond? Because Vince is losing the game right now. He's behind a prize. Uh, the burden is on him to do something about it. She does attach to Tornadus. So, interesting. I don't know what he's planning to do. I think he's trying to figure out what to do as well. Uh, he does not seem to have a double colorless in his hand. But now he's going to send up Smeargle after using Forest Breath. He's going to just take a look. See, alright Tyson, what do you have left? And it looks like he may have to just portrait and hope that Tyson has an N. Let's see. He's actually looking for all junk arms and catchers in Tyson's discard pile. Looks like there's quite a few left for Tyson if he plays four of each. So, man, this is going to be rough for Vince. I don't know how he's going to make this sort of a comeback. The only thing I can think of is an N and a Mewtwo attacking to close out the game. I don't know what else he would do. Um, looks like he may have a junk arm in his hand. So, he might do that. We have plenty of time here, so this will not be an issue at all. Time won't run out. Uh, Vince is taking a pretty long time to think through his turn, but this is a pivotal turn for him. This is pretty much going to decide the match. If he can't put any, if he can't put up any fight here, um, Tyson's going to go down to one prize, and I can't see Vince winning in that situation. And it looks like Vince will put down the Mewtwo, so he's going to go for it. Uh, he puts another Grass on Tornadus. He has the Shaman in his hand as well. So what is he going to go for? Um, I don't know what Tyson has. He's got Sage and Juniper. Okay. So... Vince could go for either one of those. Uh, he might want to do Sage just so he saves his Shaman. Uh, or he could go for Juniper, I don't know. Yeah, he's going to go for Sage. So he's probably going to hope to find an N and a Switch, I would think. I don't really know what he would take. Uh, what can help him get a knockout here? There's only two energy on Thunderous. If he were to Shaman and move all of his energy onto Mewtwo, uh, there would only be three... Plus two, that would only be a hundred damage. So he needs a plus power, a switch, and a shaman. I know he has the shaman in his hand. And if he wants to avoid losing, he will need N as well. To make sure Tyson can't respond with an X ball of his own. So Vince has got a couple tough decisions ahead of him. Can't blame him for taking such a long turn. And Let's see what he does. Looks like he's got some stuff to work with. He's got a junk arm, first of all. And Vince knows that no matter what he does, this is going to be tough for him to win. He can't really be expecting to win. He just kind of trying to figure out what's going to give him the best chance to win. He realizes it's probably out of his hands at this point, but he's going to do everything he can. So here is the junk arm. He's just going to go for it. Here's the switch. Um, so he's probably going to switch to Mewtwo here and Shaman and hope and pray to draw a plus power. I think there's an N in his hand as well, so this could be a perfect hand for Vince. So right now he's going to Celebration Wind, move all the energy to Mewtwo. Here we go. Here's a switch. He plays the N and he needs a plus power to get a knockout here. Um, he has not used a plus power yet, I don't believe. He's already attached and used Forest Breath as well. So if he doesn't draw plus power, he won't even take a prize this turn. And he needs to take a prize this turn to have any sort of shot at this game. 
Tyson's got to be getting a little nervous now, seeing that he'll go, he'll be going down to two cards here. Um, but if he just draws an energy, he can dynamo it around to his Mewtwo and X-Ball for the win. So, a lot of stuff Tyson can draw here to win. And Vince still needs to get a plus power. Um, oh, actually, that's a double callless energy on the Thunderous, so he does not need the plus power. He does get a knockout, and it looks like Tyson opted to discard a Lightning instead of the double callless. That's going to be huge in this game. That's actually going to open Vince up for a shot at this game. Now Tyson will promote his Zekrom with one energy, and he draws the Lightning. That could be the game-winning Lightning. If he just attaches to Mewtwo and uses Dynamotor, he can retreat and use X-Ball to win the game. But he uses, he uses Dynamotor on the Electric, and he attaches to the Electric. Does Tyson not realize he has a Mewtwo in play? He must not. He completely misses the fact that there's a Mewtwo on his bench. He could have used X-Ball to take the last two prizes. Does Vince actually have a shot at this? Is this real life? Um, wow. Tyson completely missed that. He just kind of had tunnel vision there. He was probably just expecting to win no matter what. The end maybe messed with his head a little bit. There's a plus power and an Oak's new theory. Does Vince have a catcher left? And he has the junk up. That's actually going to be the game. He catches out the Mewtwo, and Vince Blasco will win this series. And Tyson shows there's a Juniper on his next card, but I don't think he realized he had the win in his hands. Vince somehow escapes this match. Somehow, some way. And moves on to the top eight at Wisconsin Regionals. So, Tyson with a bit of a blunder there. Um, I'm not sure what was going through his head. There's probably a lot going through his head, and then he just completely overlooked the fact that there was the Mewtwo on his bench. He could have just won the game with X-Ball. Vince catching a huge break. Props to him for not giving up. This is why you always play your games out. Always um, do what you can, even when you think the game's over. And Vince will move on, so congratulations to him in this very back-and-forth series. Uh, he pulls a win out of nowhere and he will move on and his undefeated streak will continue so thanks everybody for watching hope you enjoyed this matchup and we will have more matches from Wisconsin Regionals coming up soon so stay tuned I've been Puka here from Top Cuts